Okay. Quickly, how to the national setup where two, not one, of exports from this town mm. yesterday evening were announced or released, uh, according to release by uh, the Nigerian Football Federation and the uh, Raw, uh, the battle being included, uh, handed their first call up yeah. to the national team. Talking about the teenager, the teenage sensation, uh, Francis Uzoho, mm, yeah. uh, formerly of Aspire Academy, and now for, and now for the Portugal La Coruña. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, be our own brother, I guess, I remember a couple of months ago, I had him in this studio and he told me that Ogeyo Nazi was his favorite player talking about not Kelechi Wakale this time around but Chidebre Wakale we didn't, most of us didn't see that coming I remember sharing a story about him some months ago but some people were like no Kelechi should be the more probable if there must be someone from the Wakale's family who should go to the World Cup who should earn a call up maybe it should be Kelechi he did well yes Kelechi yes I had so, so, so many things going for him but all of a sudden, yes, that story uh, sounded like, it didn't sound like music to the ears of so many. So many didn't believe that particular story from this station. But I'm glad to say that that has actually, uh, we've been vindicated. But from Wakali, good enough is invited, but of course the position that he's playing, in fact, is overcrowded. With all the, with all the new um, um, imports that General Roy is bringing in, I, I, I just hope that he can dazzle and surprise everybody with his goal scoring form in his club. I think uh, let's just hope for the best for him. Yes, he's actually scored three goals this very season, uh, right here in the Norwegian uh, Force Division, where uh, it's actually proven uh, that he is uh, so a player you can actually rely on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, uh, he scored, the, 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 there was this cream of a goal he scored recently that, 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 that really hit the headlines and so, you know, got so, so, so many people talking. He, he's that kind of um, um, effervescent midfielder that, that, that can really bust into space and release those rockets, those screamer. Um, a box boss, maybe mid midfielder you like to call him. Um, maybe another version of Ogene Kadetebo, uh, but he, I guess he's more defense minded than mm. Ogene Kadetebo. He also loves to bust a uh, weak pace and uh, try to press the panic button uh, on the position. A fantastic midfielder and um, let's just see how uh, things pan out. Uh, I just believe that uh, if it works out well, you the know. same in the World Cup will not be a bad one. <laughs> now, we need we need a player that can step into the big shoes of Ogei and Nazi to give the back for the protection it needs. But don't forget that Ogei and Nazi was There not is a John Oku. Who have not been given, a, not chance. Been given a chance. Yes. Now, but, but, but when you try to just oppose both of them, John Oku, uh, yes, he's, he's been there. But with the pace of Chidebe, and you need someone with that donkey walk rate that can walk his socks off for 120 minutes. Maybe with his age, he's still an emerging force. Mm -hmm. He still has so many years to... Uh, so maybe, maybe, he might be the right fit. These I'm not ones, the coach. These are ones for the future. Mm -hmm. So what I see about Wankali is that he's one for the future. Looks at the likes of um, Dominic Ayofa Jr., Etiwo Neboehi, Chidozi Awaziem, and so on and so forth. These guys have been... As in, he has invited a lot of them, but take it from me, the, many of these guys would not see the light of day when it comes to the final 23 man list. But that does not mean that there's no hope for them. Because the likes of John, uh, take it or leave it, Ogeni Onazi, Mikel Obi, uh, and, uh, and the likes are going to be phasing out. Or like I know, he's coming, we saw him extinct in Zambia. So I just think it's one for the future for him.